Hi there, I'm Megan Spotswood and welcome to a special edition of Spokes NHL Preview Playoffs. I'm here with uh, sports analyst Peter Scott today and I guess today we're going to start kicking it off with uh, the NHL playoffs being on their way. This is the first time since 1970 that uh, no Canadian teams have qualified. So Peter, what do you think that this is going to do to the viewer rate, especially in Canada? Well, obviously I think a lot of, um, a lot of people in Canada tune in just to see the Canadian teams see how they're doing. But most hockey fans will be interested in how the big market American teams are doing. So like Chicago, Pittsburgh, LA, all those teams will still draw big audiences. So I don't think it'll have that big of an effect as people are making it seem. All right, so uh, let's get into the playoffs now a little bit, into um, the series. So we're going to start off with Florida versus the New York Islanders. So uh, the Islanders have some injuries in their lineup. So do you think that this is a setback for them? Well, I think it obviously can affect them a lot because they are missing uh, Yaroslav Halak, who's their starting goalie, as well as uh, Mikhail Grabowski and Travis Hamnick, their big stud on defense, will be back. They are not supposed to be getting back Anders Lee, so that could be effective, but I think, I don't think it'll be as big of an issue as it could be. I think it'll be more about Florida's depth up front, really just hammering the bottom four on the Islanders. So I, in my opinion, I think Florida's gonna take this series in uh, five or six games. And I think a big factor of this will be Nick Bukestad. He's a six foot six, 23 year old center. I think with a lot of teams focusing on the top line of Jonathan Huberdeau, Yarmer Yager, and Alexander Barkov, I think it'll be up to Bukestad to really bring the offense for them. Awesome. So uh, let's move on to uh, the next series, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning versus uh, the Detroit Red Wings. So a big thing to look out for in this one is uh, Stamkos' injury. Um, it's a big setback for the Lightning considering they say that he's going to be out for, you know, one, one to three months. Yeah, um, so yeah, that means that he's not, he might not even be able to play, you know, um, through uh, all the postseason. What do you think about that? Well, I think another big injury, it depends how what we hear from Tyler Johnson. He was hurt last game. He was rocked into the boards pretty hard. So if he's out as well, that's their top two centermen out of the series. And that could be a big thing. But also looking at, they're playing a Detroit team that's made their playoff for the 25th year in a row. They really need their young forwards like Dylan Larkin, Gustav Nyquist, and Thomas Tatar to step up for them to be successful. But I see Tampa just being too fast to, and I think that they'll just win this series. I think I have them winning in six. Uh, who else are, do you think that we should look out for in this series? A uh, big key factor for Tampa was going to be Jonathan Duran. So he was the third overall pick in 2013, and he really hasn't done much in the NHL. He scored in his last two games of the regular season, and he's the kind of offensive threat that they need to take the next step. So, uh, yeah, you definitely think that uh, Tampa's speed is definitely what's going to get them over the Red Wings. All right, Washington versus uh, Philadelphia. Uh, Washington's been killing it this year, especially Captain Alex Ovechkin uh, going on with 50 goals. Uh, and then we have Philly, who uh, just snuck into the playoffs. What are your predictions for this series? I just think, honestly, Washington's just too much, it'd be too much for Philadelphia's defense to handle. They had some really big um, off-season acquisitions, including uh, Justin Williams and TJ Oshie. They signed uh, Mike Richards, who has won everywhere he's been. And a key for them is going to be uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov. Teams are going to be keying in on uh, Nicholas Backstrom and Alex Ovechkin. So Kuznetsov is going to have to continue his strong year for them to have a chance to win the series. So, yeah, I'm thinking that uh, Washington's probably yeah. going to have this one. How about you? I think Steve Mason might steal one for Philly, but I have Washington in five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next series, uh, we got Pittsburgh Penguins versus the New York Rangers. Again, two really strong and tough teams with really strong players. So who are we going to look out for in this series? So the playoffs. This is why Pittsburgh got Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel's the kind of guy who can break open a game with his speed and his shot. And they need him to step up, especially if Evgeny Malkin is unable to come back. I just think that Pittsburgh has, is going to win this series. I have them winning in seven. How about we get into the West Division playoffs now? Um, we're going to start off with uh, Dallas Stars and the Minnesota Wild. Uh, Dallas has some pretty strong leaders, uh, Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. So why don't you tell me a little bit about those two? Yeah, so uh, Dallas pretty much has the most dynamic duo in the league with uh, Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. So they're going to be the key focus for Minnesota in this series. They also got good depth throughout their lineup with Jason Spezza, Alex Hemsky, Valerie Natushkin. Though we've had a bit of an off year, he's still got that big body frame that can uh, be physical in the playoffs. One thing that's going to come down to Dallas' success is their goaltending. The combination of Antti Niemi and Kari Lettinen was not good this year. They only combined for a 904 save percentage and a 2.78 goals against average. Those are both bottom half in the league. So if Dallas wants to finish the year with a cup, they need their finished goalies to step up and play well in these playoffs. 
Uh, all right, so next uh, uh, series we have St. Louis uh, Blues versus the Chicago Blackhawks. And as most people do know, that Chicago is a really strong team just in general, winning uh, a couple cups uh, the last uh, couple years. So are we looking at another cup for Chicago, or do you think the Blues are going to beat them out this year? Well, winning the Stanley Cup is the hardest thing to do in all professional sports. So winning the Stanley Cup back-to-back -back is very, very hard. It hasn't been done since the Red Wings did it back in the late 90s, so it's never been done in the salary cap era. But one person you have to congratulate with the Chicago team is their GM, Stan Bowman. He's been able to retool their lineup and reload with younger players, cheaper players, and still stay competitive. So I, uh, this is definitely going to be a tough round for sure. What are your yeah, predictions? Yeah, I think this is the toughest first round series. Uh, I think a lot of skill, a lot of speed, but I think Chicago, I think Chicago will be too much to handle. And if St. Louis does fall in the first round, look for Ken Hitchcock to get the ax. Um, okay, so next uh, series is going to be uh, Anaheim versus the Nashville Predators. Uh, what are your predictions for that series? Um, Nashville, the one thing that they got to look at is they got they finally have their number one center that can go up against the big boys in the West. So they got Ryan O'Hanson. He's a six foot three center they acquired from Columbus this year in exchange for Seth Jones, and he's the guy they got to go go up against the Ryan Getzlaffs, the Anze Kopitars, and the Jonathan Taves in the West. So they're going to need him to step up and have a big series if they're looking for a continue. What about the goaltending? For Nashville, yeah. Pekka Rene is usually known for one of the top echelon goalies in the league, but had a really rough year this year. He had his worst save percentage over a full season and his second worst goals against average. So Nashville's going to need him and their defense to really play up to how we know they're capable of flying for them to have a chance. I definitely, I definitely agree with you. So the next series is um, LA Kings versus the San Jose Sharks. Now I know for sure that this is going to be a great series. Um, so what's been going on with these two teams? So LA's bounced back after kind of a lackluster year last year. They make the playoffs. They had some big moves this year. They acquired uh, Milan Lucic over the summer. And the LA Kings, they're just a big, bad, bruising team. Lucic fit in really well with a good bounce back year, scoring 55 points. They're going to be too strong for San, for San Jose to handle, who's also coming back to the playoffs after missing it one year. San Jose's got a very balanced lineup, 520 goal scores, and that doesn't even include Joe Thornton, who led the team in scoring this year. Yeah, definitely a seven-game uh, seven series. Yeah. So um, for the West and the East, who do you think is going to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals? Well, so for the Eastern Conference, I have um, Washington going up against Florida. I think though President Trophy winners don't normally fare well in the playoffs, I, have, I think Washington, this is the year they can finally do it. I have Washington winning in the East. And then the West, I have, uh, I have Anaheim going up against Chicago. Anaheim lost at a heartbreaker last year in Chicago in seven games. This year I have them getting their revenge and it'll be an Anaheim-Washington Cup final. And who do you think is going to win it all? <laughs> I think uh, Washington is going to win the Cup in six. This is their Cup to lose, essentially. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I definitely think that this might be uh, Washington's year for sure. All right, well, thanks very much for tuning in to Spokes NHL Playoff Preview. Again, I'm Megan Spotswood, and this is sports analyst Peter Scott.